Hey everybody, this is my day 16 video. Um, today I want to talk about authenticity. Um, I had a conversation with an old friend not that long ago, and we got into a fight about being authentic. Um, basically, I was not judging, but criticizing this person for being inauthentic in the way that they present themselves, um, basically straight up lying. That's literally the only way to put it. It is just bold face, straight up lying to people's faces about the things that they do, um, the person that they are, etc. I expressed how as soon as somebody is inauthentic with me, I, I will try to understand where they're coming from. But ultimately, if you lie to me, I probably won't trust you again, especially if you're lying to me about something stupid. Because if you lie to me about something small, you'll definitely lie to me about something huge. And for me, I would much rather somebody tell me the truth and hurt my feelings and allow me to feel those feelings and allow me the respect to be given the truth than to lie to me and constantly, first of all, have to hold that weight on their backs. Or, you know, I like, it makes me frustrated because I'm one of those people that just, I don't really have a filter. Um, I've been trying to become more compassionate in the way that I speak to people, but ultimately I'm going to tell you like it is, and that's kind of who I am. Um, I tell people how I feel. I don't hide anything. I don't mask anything. I'm always upfront and true about the things that I'm going through and the person that I am. You all know, you watch these videos. I'm not quiet about the fact that I suffer from depression and anxiety. I'm not quiet about the fact that I'm, ha I'm having to move in with my grandmother because I don't have enough money to pay my rent currently. Um, I don't hide because the more that you hide from the world, the more you hide from yourself. And hiding from yourself is the worst thing you can possibly do because you can't hide from yourself. So instead of being true and honest and, you know, stepping out and saying, this is who I am, we're repressing all these emotions and stuffing down all these feelings. And that gives us a lack of integrity. We don't trust ourselves. We have guilt for lying to people. And we can't tell anyone. We can't even, you know, and a lot of us even convince ourselves that it's the truth. Because we're so guilty and so ashamed of the fact that we're lying and not being upfront with who we are. You know, that it just, it eats us alive. It's stressful. You know, it probably causes tumors and cancer and so many other health issues. I think that the more we step out and say, this is who I am, I am not sorry for it, we can set ourselves free. I feel like for me, authenticity and being honest, and you know, when I ask you how your day is, oh, it was fine. And it wasn't. I'd much rather you not give me that generic response and give me the truth. Oh, it was incredible. I did X, Y, Z. Oh, you know, it was okay. Mediocre at best. Be honest with me. Like, I, be honest with everyone. I think everyone's kind of walking around like a robot and a zombie instead of being true and being honest about who they are and how they feel. You know, we, we have this illusion of who we're supposed to be in life of the things that we're supposed to accomplish, of the, you know, like the people that we're supposed to be, and we forget who we really are. You know, I was tied up in that for a long time. I still have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with my life. But I do know, sort of, the things I want to be involved in. I do know that as a person, I want to have integrity. I want to, I want people to be able to trust me because I don't lie about stuff. I just, lying is lying. There are no such thing as white lies. Because even if it's like, well, if I tell this person it's going to hurt them, you have to do it. Sorry, I completely disagree with, it's only going to hurt the, yeah, but you keeping that on your chest too, or on your back, is not healthy for either of you. There's constantly going to be a wall up between you and this person or, you know, you and this life, you and this fake version of yourself. 
I don't know how else to explain it, but all I know is that I don't want to be, I don't want to be surrounded by people who are not honest. And especially those people who are not honest with themselves. Because that's the worst kind of person. Because if a person is capable of lying to themselves for so long, they'll have absolutely no trouble lying to you. And I think we should just get away from lies and just be honest. Omission is also a lie. Yeah, for me, I mean, that's all there is to it. I think we should always be authentic, even if it's embarrassing. I, I mean, I'm not going to come out and just tell people stuff that I don't want to know, but if so, or I don't want them to know. But if someone asks me and I feel safe in their company, I'm going to tell them. You know, if it's a close friend of yours, if it's a lover, you know, a significant other, you shouldn't be ashamed to tell them something unless you feel like they're not safe to tell them. And if they're not safe for you to tell them who you really are, then you shouldn't be with that person. If you don't trust them to keep your secrets and trust them to, you know, support you when you, you know, are honest about things in your life that you've lied about or things in your life that you're ashamed of, then you shouldn't be with that person. And if you have to lie to yourself about stuff, that's something you really need to take a look at in your life. And I also hate it when people tell me that I, you know, I, I, I told this person this stuff. And they said, don't you dare try to give me advice because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. No shit. But I do know, for me and my values... I do not like it when people lie. And I think the majority of people, you ask them, hey, do you like it when your friends and family and loved ones lie to you? They're probably going to say no. So I think lying is kind of one of those things that most people don't like. Everybody does it. But most people do not like it when somebody else does it to them. So I'm not trying to tell people how to live their lives. I'm just saying for me, it is not something that I will tolerate anymore. Because I have enough trust issues as it is. The last thing I need is to surround myself with people who are not authentic and not honest. So yeah, that's it. A little bit of a rant for you. But I think that the main takeaway for me from that experience was lying to yourself, which forces you to lie to others, is incredibly painful and causes so much anger and resentment towards yourself. You can't go through life in a healthy, happy way when you lie that much. Because the lies turn into reality. And you don't know the difference between you know, your lies, your stories, and what's real. So, be authentic. I'm going to continue living my life. I'm not in a great mood today just telling you and that's okay but I'm not gonna put on a fake face and pretend like I don't have feelings and my feelings are not a little tumultuous right now because they are so take it however you want it I'm not trying to you know lecture anybody I just think that being honest is a very very important thing so thank you for watching bye